you want me to drain your bucket? No, that's still me in there. And yes, I know it smells like shit. Okay, I got you set up on the couch here with plenty of fluids. Root beer, Sunny D, and piss. I is the piss hot? I, I want hot piss. <sighs> Miss. Oh, my favorite hand! We gotta get these body parts before Corvo is goo for good or we'll have to learn how to do taxes! It's hella complicated. Good luck figuring out the depreciation value of time-traveling sneakers you only use for business. Answer. How would we ever have gotten all that from you just saying Gladwell? Don't be jealous, Corvo. It doesn't look good. I I'm not. A sexual relationship with an award-winning author. I'm impressed. Best I could swing was a hand job from the two guys who keep track of all the horse names for George R.R. R. Martin. Parents, you look great. Love the shirt. Is that lamb's wool? Gladdy. You're looking observant, as always. I time to silently knit up in this bitch. Ugh. I heard on Twitter that Bad Bunny has a cold, so I'm knitting him a Snuggie. I have never seen you knit. Bullshit! I homespun you those Animal Crossing themed boot socks. Those were from Hot Topic. We're doing a collab. Is, uh, Terry here? Green alien? Super hot and moist? Whimsical t-shirts? Is this some sort of competitive hobby thing with your alien husband? What do you think you're doing? Judge Dredd's on vacation from Mega City One. Just a little gift from me to you. Dystopian law enforcement officers don't fit in with my motif. What about the white hen pantry I added? It's a regional Chicago option for when 7-Eleven is too classy. Would you get that crap out of here? My town is too bougie for a white hen. They've got unbeatable deals on individual craft singles. Not packaged for retail, but that's not gonna stop the hen, you know what I'm saying? No, I don't know what you're saying, Terry. I, I hate you, you're ruining everything. But we're just having fun. It's not fun, it's my life. <laughs> Dave, that you? He gave us no choice. We're gonna have to kill him. Okay, boys, turn those body cams off! Oh no, Corvo! Grab my hand like they did in True Lies! Why wouldn't you say like in Cliffhanger? You know I love that movie! Yeah, but I don't. John Lithgow as the villain? No, thank you. Okay, Terry, time to be the hero. Just stay focused and what the fuck? Oh, a frame fucking photo of Polar Express Tom Hanks, but none of me? God damn it, Terry, stay on point. Dora. But if I don't have my hobby, w w what am I? Without trains, I, I might as well be dead. Corvo, you aren't what you do. You're who you love, and that's me. But you have all your own hobbies. And I wanted to share them with you, you fool. Why do you think I started training in the first place? So we could do it together. Really? Together? You mean we can be like Stan and Barb from down the block that started that homemade candle company together? Yes, but not as desperate and lame is them because we don't have their debt problems. Thank you, Terry. That's all I needed to hear. I I will stop being a train. All right! <laughs> Sorry you don't have a hobby anymore, Corvo. It's okay. Terry and I are going to do a hobby together. Yay! And you promised you would make a real effort to like it. Yes, once my body is back. I promise to like it. W what did you have in mind? This is my all-time favorite hobby. What is? I, I can't see what's at the front of the line. No, this. We're doing it. Doing what? Standing in line. It's my favorite hobby. What we're doing right now is it? You, you, you love waiting in line? Promise to try. I know I did. Corvo? Whatever. It's just a dumb line. I'll, I'll, I'll give it a chance. Yeah, line time, baby. <laughs> you know, you always say something different. I do. I do like all the line shoes and hats the pros are wearing. I can't resist the siren song of hyper-specific gear. I got my New Balance shuffles on, my Touch the Wall for Leverage Asics gloves, and my uncle hat so my spots don't get burnt. Okay, okay, I'll, I'll give it a chance. I can sandwich. Linus, what's up, my dog? I was hoping I'd see you standing around. Ter Bear, the Terranator, t t, -t terry of the Jets! Oh, mm. uh, mm. What the F-U-C-K? Did you just give that guy a little smooch? It's my thing now. Don't hang a light on it. Thanks for holding my place, Marv. Hired to hold my place stander so I wouldn't miss a good spot next to T-Dog. He's kind of my line husband. Oh, well, I'm sure you've heard all about me then, Corvo. I'm Terry's actual husband slash unmarried team leader. Corvo. Cor... Corvo... Hmm. No, he's never mentioned you. Yes, I have, remember? I hate the way his eyes cartoonishly bulge out when he's angry. They do not! There they are. No, I would have remembered. Terry and I go way back. I guess we started to fall in line together when we were waiting to get Mr. Wonderful's new set of sponges. That was a day. <laughs> <laughs> remember, remember, remember. Oh my god. <laughs> the sponges. Corvo was actually just about to take off. He's not really a line guy. No, I wasn't actually about to take off. This line is just getting good. Really? Yes, I look forward to continuing to stand here with my teammate slash work husband in crime slash life, Terry, and this person named Lamus. It's Linus with an N. Oh, what did I say? Okay, well, uh, welcome, compadre. I only brought oh, two bags of Dayquil mm, Blast mm, Cheez-Its, though, so you'll have to share. They're Terry's favorite. Ooh, now with extra quill? Goodbye thoughts. I, I thought Terry was a Mai Tai goldfish man. That was so 2019. But who can keep track? Terry is always yammering on about snack foods. You know me, I'm always bugles this and twizzlers that. Such a yam bone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gosh. You aren't the only ones who've stood in line before, Terry. Remember when we were in line for the Broadway 
Broadway adaptation. Oh, such a good call. My cap only covers the top of my head like a total loser. You're not a loser, Terry. You're the coolest guy I know. Yes, you're also the coolest guy I know. You told me yesterday I should die in a fire. I, I was joking. Oh, dumb. Corvo, you don't have to make stuff up. Why would I ever do that? Maybe you're just a little jealous of my relationship with Linus. I have a robe and sweet-ass crystal that can make me levitate. I'll never be jealous of some nerd who jerks off to lines. You're embarrassing me. Hey, remember when we waited in that line to get into the first ever Jimmy Buffett buffet in Urgent Care Center and I almost coded out because I ate all that shrimp that I'm allergic to? Oh my god, so many fat fatties. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, what the fuck is the dealio with you and Linus? What, Corvo? He's my line husband. You know, like how I have Gerard, my spin class husband, and Billy Jr., my Sunday afternoon Costco husband. God, why do you care so much? I don't, okay? It's just, he touches your waist a lot. Oh, it's just how we keep each other steady in line. Terry, t talk to me. You ruined a Cat 5 line. That's like interrupting the path of a really strong hurricane. Who would stop an awesome, powerful hurricane? Probably Storm, the X-Men, because she can control the weather and it would prevent a lot of property damage. Now you rub the store's gonna choose that line for sure! Terry, look at me. This is hard for me to say because you know I don't like to compliment. You're almost always lazy and annoying. Continue. But you're the best line stander I've ever seen. You make it look so easy. You could just stand here for hours just staring straight ahead and y you'd have the time of your life. That's called being in the zone, baby! Remember what you loved about lines in the first place. Think back before all the here, magazines and lifestyle of lines took over. Yeah, I just loved how peaceful it was. Exactly! You don't need Linus or any of those pros. The line isn't out here. It's inside you. Has been all along. You're right, goddammit! I can do this! Oh, they're opening this door! This is it! Oh, I'm so nervous! Which line do you think they'll pick? How's my standing looking? I'm engaging my core and doing a kegel. You hot as hell. Dude, I'm using sci-fi! Corvo, no! I need to get back to line basics. No gear, no tricks, no sci-fi. If I'm gonna lose, at least I'll lose it the old-fashioned way. Terry, you're really showing a lot of growth here. I I'm proud of you for doing the right thing. Time for the ultimate focus, and to get into the zone. Become one with the line force. You've got this. Just close your eyes and think about winning this line. our line in? I'm winning without cheating! I beat his ass to hell with honor! Indeed you did. I did it! I can't believe it! I love being honorable! I'm gonna have integrity forever! That's the Terry I've never known. Hello, Terry. This is my new line husband, James. We're gonna wait for the midnight release of the new Dan Brown novel together. It's about how Noah solved murders at night on his ark. <laughs> Two at a time! Eat shit and die, Linus! I got all the husband I need right here. <laughs> bum bum! Bum, bum. Stop dabbing, Terry. Nobody does that anymore. Wrong! Dabbing will be cool forever. Dabbity dab dab. Nice. I've made a plan to make sure we hit all the best rides before the park closes or it gets bought by Verizon. Corvo, come on, look at the map. I'm pointing. Look at my pointing, please. Fine. I will look at a few pointings, but that's it. First we hit... Well, I was skeptical, but that was a delicious dinner at Lobster Bell. The new combination Red Lobster Taco Bell. Just listen to me next time. I know my combo franchises. Princess Bride! Princess Bride! Princess Bride! Princess Bride! Princess Bride. Princess Bride. As you wish! Yay! Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're not doing a Princess Bride. You can't just chant me into doing stuff. See how his second-in-command just did his job without being a little bitch about it, Terry? Yeah, because he's a cuck. You're a cuck. And we can sense our own. Well, it looks like every team has a Terry. With all the dumb shit you pull, it's a miracle we haven't been killed. I should just wrap you in plastic for the rest of the mission like an old ham. Told ya. Now let's go play by the chasm. Ooh, can we, Corvo, please? Okay, just a bit before dinner. I want to horse around right on the edge of the cliff. We can all horse around on the edge of the cliff as a team. Yeah! 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 Chasm! Chasm! Feel, Corvy. These pet eggs are amazing. I scraped all the plaque off my feet and I can taste the floor again. Terry, you got your flakes all over the floor. That's disgusting. Don't mind me, just channeling hard Lucy Lou vibes over here. Wait, we're not doing the Kristen Stewart one? No, that's two reboots too far. Uh, uh, it's hardly drifting at all. We're looking good. I'm gonna put acupuncture needles in your spine to keep you alert. Bonus, hit me. Oh my god, Corvo! It's coming back down! Our bullet is coming home to Papa and Papa! I lined a bucket with a bulletproof vest. Oh yeah, my man! Thinking like that's why you're team leader. It's getting closer! It's we could... Shoot him into orbit in a glint-sized cryo chamber to circle the Earth in suspended animation until the statute of limitations has passed? And then after that, we make out? Maybe. That means no. No, it means maybe. Hold up those heels, Terry. Yes, niece. You know, you gotta admit, we make a pretty good team. I don't know which has brought us closer, our bullet or our OnlyFans. What the fuck is happening? We just hit a major milestone. 100 days without a fight. We did it! It's official. The solar opposites finally get along. Mm, no more fighting. The dawn of a new era. 
really bugs me how you chose to tell us, but since we're post-fight, I'm letting it go. So what do we do now? Obviously, we should reward ourselves, but how? I mean, pancakes and oral, crepes and rimming? We do crepes and rimming too much. It's it's not a treat anymore. But check out this commercial signal I received on social media. I love Little Mountain Lake. We haven't been in so long. You booked us a vacation? Oh. You bet your fluid-filled sex I did. I already packed up all your shit. We're leaving right now. Ah. Ah. Ew, you almost made me spill my mayo fries, which I just invented because I'm a fucking genius. Try, 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 try. Oh. Wow! I just invented mayo fries today, and they already have a whole restaurant for it. Little Mountain Lake is really on the cutting edge. Didn't that fried dough place used to be here? Oh, remember when I liked fried dough? Sounds so disgusting now. <laughs> <laughs> Hello there, friend. Might I interest you in our train museum? I'm not into trains anymore. You aren't into trains? No, it's been a sore spot ever since Terry here tried to board me. Well, I only did that because you turned yourself into a train out of spite. It was my hobby! This is a Dee's collection of betrayals. Guy who killed Caesar, Jay Leno refusing to give up The Tonight Show. Corvo, what am I looking at? Uh, looks like it could possibly be me. It's really hard to tell. Maybe getting boned by the Red Goobler on his bachelor party last year. <laughs> so weird that this is in here. It wasn't really even a betrayal. What's that look? You said it didn't bother you. Oh, well, I guess there's no chance I was just armoring myself emotionally by... Orlando and Han Solo exhibit. L let's find that. This one's cryptic. You fucking dick, that's you! I bought those talkies at the store, but someone ate them all before I could even have one. You told me it was the pupa. If that's true, then explain this animatronic. Yeah, I did it, okay? I was eating my feelings. All the bad ones left over from when you let the red goobler fuck you! You're acting like that's a bigger deal than the talkies, but it's not! Listen, something very fucking weird is going on. What? You like fucking weird? Trust me, I know! Fine, I apologize for involving you all in my brilliant magic trick. It wasn't my place to inject your lives with a childlike sense of wonder. I'm so sorry. Oh, and I'm sorry for getting so bent out of shape over graphic depictions of the Red Goobler blasting you behind my back. Look at us, friends again. Terry, I assume you broke the rules and brought something too? Just in case things got kinky. Oh, I wish this trip had gone that way. Ooh. So we lost our favorite vacation spot and we're supposed to work through our issues now? That sounds way worse than keeping our vacation spot and never working through our issues. I do love algorithms. I know you do. Whatever, who cares if we're not invited? I say we photobomb these losers. Hard agree. What if we turn everyone who is shitting on us into actual Polaroids? I can whip up a ray gun that will- Brill, Corvo. Oh, I love our family pics. Really makes this house a home. Oh, yes. Every time I walk by this picture, I'll remember what a total bag of shit that guy was. Terry, if you didn't waste so much time picking out which Tums to bring, we'd be at Taco Bell by now. You know damn well the Liv Mosser deal only comes once a year. Different flavor Tums paired with different Mountain Dews. Jeez, watch Chef's table sometimes. Oh, let me stop it. We're going to Taco Bell as a family. This is supposed to be the happiest day of the week, and you are ruining it. Bon, look at the cute little guy. I wish I'd never been pupa. <gasps> that mall cop was right. The pupa's an out-of-control motherfucking teenager. He wants to be a teenager, then let's treat him like a teenager. Pupa, as team leader, I have come to a decision. You shall be grounded for one Earth month. Grounded? Yes, grounded. <laughs> oh, oh, it's gonna be okay. Corvo, you made him cry, psychopath. I, I didn't know he would... It's the right thing to do. He has to learn. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Who knew Brigabalba would be so nice? And her home? Lovely. Oh, that little fountain in her tea garden was so peaceful. I was thinking the same thing. We really had her pegged wrong. I can't believe all we had to do was lease this rad pumpkin car and buy all that Stella and Dot crap from her to get the ship back. It is not crap. Look at my I'm a girl boss chunky cufflet. That's on trend, baby. We need someone who can whip Pupa into shape. Someone with a heart of gold, abs of steel, and the calves of a hip-hop legend. We need Mark, Mark Wahlberg. Wahlberg. Okay, so Mark Wahlberg has a restraining order against us. <laughs> My bills! Damn it! I can't remember how much I owe in dues to the WGA North for that whole Ted 3D fiasco! Corvo has spent more time eating me out than being involved in the pupa's education. Exactly! Wait, what? No weapons? I've been learning how to do single boat death punches as a Christmas surprise for you. Terry, that is so thoughtful. How did you know I love overclocked martial arts movies? I pay attention. Mwah.